Hi, my name is Catherine and I am reaching out and creating this video to connect and discuss a few things that I had in mind. Um, there's I actually recently done a radio interview on uh, right here in Santa Rosa and it was actually a bilingual radio station which was really great because it gave me the opportunity to speak in Spanish and yes I am half Cuban and half Peruvian but born and raised in New Jersey and the purpose of this video is to kind of dive in into the point of creativity and creativity through either our workings, our projects, our life interactions, our connections with one another through either going for a jog or buying a cup of coffee or just, you know, talking to your significant other. Creativity is something that really actually just has a title, but really is part of who we are. Um, if we can recognize and recall or even just witness children today um, as they're in their first few months, their connections, their looks, how they look at one, one another or even when they're communicating with you when they don't even know they have yet to learn and the language either an English language Spanish language or any language because the time of birth they come out they're knowing their own language their language is beyond words it's all through their facial expression through their smiles through their eyes, through their glances, just their language is them. And what's interesting is that we are able to acknowledge and respect that the children, the infants, when they come into this world, they are having their own language. And then, of course, as they get older, we have to teach them and show them how to speak, how to be proper, how to add, how to communicate with the world. But as soon as they come out, we allow them to communicate the way they can. And, and what's interesting, it allows the child to be as creative as creative from either lifting an eyebrow or... Um, having a smile or puckering their lips and when they are in that space they are as happy as as they can be and truthfully children don't know what happy is because they are just thriving as an infant as an human being as a newborn child into this earth so going back and just kind of looking at our creativity, our ways of approaching life, our ways in our interactions with one another, and even our way of how we can um, create things with our hands or with our food, and also in our writings, in our way of walking, in our way of talking, being as passionate, connected, no barriers, no boundaries, just kind of allowing yourself to freely and of course honoring and respecting other human beings around. But how can you become more creative? You know, give yourself a chance to look at a child and witness them. Look at an infant and see them. See how they work. See how they naturally run their rhythm in this life their first few days or even months, how is their interaction? How is their connection with every human being and their surprises through the glance of another being, probably even an animal or hearing the sounds and the birds and the barks that are out there or even hearing the voice of their mother or father or siblings children are really 
sacred to us because they give us a chance to really look of how we can truly be as peaceful and as lovable and caring and also giving us a sense of hope that we can return into return to that space of love and connection not only to our parents but also the connection to ourselves because we as children we run so very freely we we're not looking at either being judged and we're not looking at how we're reacting we're going with the natural rhythm and you know yeah we learn later on in life what is wrong and what is right and of course as the child gets older the surroundings of that child is impacted is affected and and that's where the child begins to be shaped by his or her's environment so if you know a fellow family member or friend that just recently had a child connect with them give yourself a chance to just witness them and be with them or even just going to a playground and hearing the laughs probably not just sitting at the bench and looking but you know walking by and hearing the laughs of a child and hearing how free it is that laugh how free it is and how free they run and then ask yourself the question when was the last time you gave yourself a chance to laugh freely to run freely to enjoy and be as creative and interactive with each and every person in your life or even perhaps the one important person in your life which is you and giving yourself that chance to ask that question or perhaps even writing the question down and allowing yourself to write an answer back so once again my name is Catherine Mesa and I am a human being on this earth that really appreciate being brought to this earth but also my passion and my practice has brought me to who I am now and it's from meditation from also my yoga practice and also the connection of rediscovering who I am through the holistic practices through the mind body and spirit approach and yeah so the rediscovery and rediscovering yourself allowing yourself to rediscover every part of who you are so thank you and I hope you have a lovely day or evening or night and and a safe journeys through your rediscovery of who you are blessings